Hey guys, I thought I'd make a quick video for you. Uh, haven't been out uh, for a little while here. I've been busy, been sick, so on. Anyways, I'm back looking at this thing again. And I've been trying to characterize what the inaccuracy of the deck is. And what I found was I had the uh, dial indicator initially positioned here. And, uh, and I zeroed it. And I traversed it across to here. And I found it was about 50 thou lower here. Then I went and I brought it to the front, to each corner. This corner seemed higher than the center point. Uh, this one was about 35 thou below that position there. And then I traversed it all the way back to here, and it was actually lower than, you know, in the middle of it. And then I brought it back over to here, even with, uh, you know, like this initial starting point, which was around here somewhere. And it's about 13 thou lower. I can't give you all the numbers, but it's not that important. But uh, basically what it looks like is it looks like the table is, you know, leaning that way in this direction and slightly tilted that way. Or if you want to look at it from the point of view of the support pipes, it looks like these support pipes, like this one on the right, is slightly higher. And what that does is that effectively makes it look like the deck is lower on this side because it's climbing a hill at that point. So, I've been thinking about some ways that I can uh, can address this and uh, one of the guys who had been watching had suggested that I just shim the, the tabletop which would be the easiest way to do it. Um, my original idea which I should have probably incorporated which was to have those adjustable um, uh, supports where I could actually tweak the the uh, the location of those things probably wouldn't be that bad an idea. I still could put them on the inside, but then I lose a little bit of the traverse length. But it's not a huge amount because there's already a whole bunch of other stuff. There's bolt heads and there's those uh, those furniture assembly nuts that are sticking in there and all that other fun stuff. But it occurred to me there might be a little bit easier way of doing it. Now I did this in another video that I decided not to bother posting. But if I actually lift up on a corner, you can actually see that I can affect the dial indicator by a bit. Like I can distort the, f the frame enough to make it move, you know, like a couple of thou easy. I can also press on it. You know, like there's another possibility there that by, you know, putting some, some uh, supports along the sides and then having screws to press on it in different places, I could actually affect the, I could, you know, distort the top sheet. But uh, the idea I'm kind of thinking of now is putting feet on this thing and seeing if I can use the feet to distort the, the uh, thing there. But I think what I'm going to do first is I never actually shimmed these pipes, so they still can move a bit. So what I'm thinking of doing is shimming those so that they're as close the same distance from the bottom part as they can be, or to the top part. Maybe the top part is a better choice because the bottom part is just support. The, the deck is what I'm trying to get accurate to. Shim those up and uh, and then see if I can improve the accuracy. Now I don't think I have 50 thou of movement in these uh, pipes, but I could always take it apart and bore those holes out a bit bigger. So, no telling. Anyways guys, I think that's it for today. Uh, next project after this is I want to see if I can improve the traverse speed or the, any of the, you know, like the seek speed by putting this other power supply I've got in. The drivers that I've got inside this box that you can't see um, are rated for up to 35 volts and that power supply I, I can adjust it down to uh, certainly within that range. So I might, might try that next, but uh, not tonight. In any case, I'll see you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Okay, so you know I never could leave it at that. So I made a little bracket in place of the uh, Dremel, or the Moto Tool, I should say. This is a little bit better arrangement. It's much more solidly mounted, and I can, still, I can use my uh, precision adjust there to always make the zero come up at the top. So I've positioned it here, I've reset this to zero, I'm going to traverse it as far over here as I can, and we'll take see what the reading is there. Okay, so this corner is actually 72 thou lower uh, than that uh, first starting corner. So that's impressively, impressively uh, 
down more than I thought it was, but then again I'm traversing more of the board by centering this because I can actually go the full limits of everything here. Anyways, let's uh, move as far to the back as I can go in this line. We'll see how it is. We'll mark it. And uh, and then we'll go back to there, and then we'll probably return to the beginning to make sure that uh, that uh, we come back to zero. In surveying, I think they call that a leveling circuit. Okay, so this corner over here is about uh, 120 thou below this, well below this corner here, and uh, you know roughly about 50 thou lower than this corner. So we'll see how we go. We'll traverse back to there, and we'll uh, we'll see how well it works or what it comes up with. Okay, and this corner here is about 52 thou lower than this corner here. So let's bring it back to here, and we'll see uh, see if we come back to zero again. Make sure we didn't, you know, something didn't move in there would be the most likely cause of that, I'd say. Okay, so here we are back to the beginning, and we're roughly at zero. We're actually about a thou below, but I think that that's within the error of this thing dragging across the top there. Anyways, so what did I prove here? Well that whatever shimming I do I you know like I have to shim this up you know 72 thou that far corner 120 and that corner about 52 it's actually going to be slightly different because uh, you know I'm obviously not going back as far as I can so I'll be tweaking it but I think what I'll do is I'll use paper if you think about it paper is what three or is it six thou thick I'll have to measure it and then I'll have to go and do a bunch of folds there you know, like I'll have to be smart about it as well. I can't just put 72 thou under this one and then crank all the rest of these ones back down tight. I'll have to be, you know, like, uh, you know, proportionately less to the point where this one is zero. And even that's not 100% because what you're doing there is if this isn't shimmed up, this corner here will be bent up like that. You know, I'm exaggerating that. If those pieces are that, basically go like that because of the uh, constraint that is this, uh, this uh, mounting. Uh, panel here. Anyways guys, that truly is it for today, so thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe.